Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, we come to you this morning, Lord God, with all thanksgiving, all thankfulness in, unto you this morning, Lord God. Lord God, we just thank you for life and life more abundantly, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for angels that you kept in coasting around us on last night, oh God, to keep us covered and protected, oh God, by your power and your mind, oh God. Lord God, we just thank you for waking up for being close in our right minds this morning, oh God. Lord God, we just thank you for this opportunity, oh God, because we know that life is a, is a privilege, God. And Lord God, we just give you praise this morning, God. Lord God, we just invite your presence in this morning because we need you like never before, God. Lord God, we can't make it even another second without your presence manifesting in the midst of us, oh God. Lord God, we pray for every family right now, Lord God, that's listening to me this morning, oh God. Lord God, we pray that you will step in that situation that they're faced with, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we pray for the man of God that you place over this house, oh God. We pray that you will continue to anoint his head with oil, oh God. Continue to encourage him, oh God, and continue to instruct him, oh God, of how to lead your people, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we come with bowed heads and humble hearts this morning, oh God. Lord God, we come in surrenderance unto you, oh God. Father God, we repent of everything, oh God, that's not like you, God. Lord God, we ask that you will empty us, oh God, of every impurity, oh God, every unclean and dirty thing, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we ask that you will fill us again, oh God. Anoint us again, oh God. Empower us again, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we pray for our children right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that your hand will continue to be upon them, upon them oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, we apply your blood, God. Everywhere that beats your dread, oh God. Lord God, let your presence be there, oh God. Let safety be there, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, go into the classrooms, oh God, cover the teachers as well, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, Lord God, we just give you praise, we give you all glory, we give you all honor, oh God. Lord God, we invoke your presence like never before, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, Lord God, we ask, oh God, that you will go to that hospital room, oh God, that you will visit that very home, oh God, where somebody's lying on the bed of affliction this morning, oh God. Just one touch from you, oh God. Lord God, we ask that you will heal, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we ask that your presence, oh God, will cause yokes to be broken this morning, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we come in surrenderance, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we come hungry, we come thirsty, oh God. After you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we pray, oh God, for the unsaved this morning, oh God. That they will part their hearts, oh God. But they will hear you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Because you'll continue to call for your people, oh God. Lord God, you're calling for your people to put you back in your rightful place, oh God. Lord God, your word is to seek you first the kingdom of God, oh God. Lord God, we ask that you will tear down every idle thing right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Everything that we put before you, oh God. Everything that we put in your place, oh God. Destroy it now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. That you will come forth like never before, oh God. Back into our lives, oh God. Lord God, show back up with your homes, oh God. Lord God, we pray for the rebellious children right now, oh God. That they will get in line with their parents, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Lord God, we come against every principality, oh God. That's not of you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We cast down everything, oh God. That's not of you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We invite your presence, oh God. We invite your glory, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Father, we don't want to miss you when you return, oh God. Lord God, continue to purify us, oh God. Continue to get us in our rightful places, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, deliver us from all of our sins, oh God. All of our impurities, oh God. We just give you the praise, oh God. We just give you the glory, oh God. Lord God, we remove the limitations right now, oh God. And we welcome your Holy Spirit to have your way.
You're amazing. Yes, you are, Father. And we love you. Come on, we love you.
will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, I'm excited today because God is just simply doing some great things in 2020. Please don't let the pandemic cloud your perspective. Don't allow the coronavirus to cloud your perspective. The hand of God is yet moving in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Listen, I have a very special guest here today. Uh, he is a friend of this ministry and has been a friend uh, to me, my wife, my family uh, for a long time. In fact, we were together uh, back in, I, I want to say 2000, together we were there at the same church in the year 2000, um, and he continues to just be a friend uh, to this ministry, and so I believe the Lord wants to speak through him today. Would you stand? Would you stand all over the room? Let's welcome all the way from the great Emmanuel Apostolic Church of Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's receive Elder Michael Thomas. Can we bless God? Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it 
for the multitude of fishes. We're going to be coming from a subject today of drop your net. Drop your net. And looking at this scripture, I think it is so pertinent because it deals with the fact that it's dealing with fishing, it's dealing with evangelism. In the natural, Jesus' disciples, Peter, was a fisherman. And the Lord told him, I'm gonna make you a fisher of men. So I think when he does deal with them and their fishing, it's very important to pay attention to it because it bears some level of examination. Now, as I say, I'm not gonna be up here any longer than God allows and I'm gonna follow the protocol. I'm gonna hit several things that I believe God has for us all to hear today and even to encourage and challenge myself with it. For us to pray, to strategize, to make a plan, to execute that strategy and to review our results. All right, so we're looking in the Bible when a lot of times people want to be like, why did Jesus deal so much with fish? Why should we go fishing? Because a lot of times, like, I think today has become loaded and more loaded with people who have a deep revelation today. And it's good that people have deep revelations, but this story about the fishing is a simple story. It gives simple instructions, but they're so dynamic and so detailed that when they were followed, they netted a result. We have people who have deep revelations today, but there are people who are living in poverty. We have people who are having deep revelations today, but there are people who are losing their jobs. There are people who are just having these deep revelations today, but they're walking around with arrogance and they think they have a monopoly on God. There are some people who have these deep revelations today, but they're backbiting and they're still hating on people. We have people that have a deep revelation today, but there are no miracles, signs, and wonders. We have people that have a deep revelation today, but their faces are hidden when it comes to dealing with racial inequalities and injustice in our nation. Don't walk with me and wanna praise God with me when it's about your thing. I mean, I know you wanna go hard for abortion. I know you wanna go hard for your party. It's not about a red or blue thing or an independent thing. Right, it's not right, about right, a right. multicolor flag or your state flag or your nation flag. It's all about Jesus. And if you say that you believe in the same Christ that I believe in, expect for you to be able to see when I have some hurt, you should have some concern about it. You got such a concern on a couple of things, you got a short list some people do. And I'm, I'm not trying to throw no stones and not take accountability because yes, there are issues with abortion. I did some research on abortion a couple years ago and abortion actually, if it had not been so popular in the African American community, we probably would have anywhere between 70 to maybe even 100 million African Americans in this state, I mean, in the whole United States now. I believe from research, there were at least about 20 million African American abortions since it has become legalized. All right, now, yes, that's, that's an issue, that's a challenge, but not staying on that only. If that's the only thing you have to hold up and you want to wave in front of the black church's face and I'm just going to put it on down like where the hoes can get it. If that's the only thing you want to hold up in the black church's face and say that, no, you guys aren't tough on abortion, you're not consistent on abortion. Well, okay, but what about those people who are hurting and who are in hunger? 
at some point you have to go to the whosoever it's not just because you got a camera crew with you you have to go to the whosoever from the guttermost to the uttermost whether you stay out in wind lakes or at the bottom of the lake regardless of what your situation is you should care about people exactly and looking at this strategy that jesus quickly lays out to his disciples it's very very reminiscent of another situation that jesus did with his disciples if you do a little flashback back over into the book of Luke, chapter 5, verses 4 to 7. I'm going to go on and read it for time's sake. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Lunch out into the deep, and let down your net for a draft. And Simon answered, said unto him, Master, we go toil all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they let, when, sorry, and when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fish and the net break. And they beckoned unto the other partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships, so that they began to sink. Both of these scriptures are dealing with Jesus telling them to drop their nets. How about a little rosa? Mm, mm, mm. I'm already feeling this, bro. You could push me at any time. When the people of God, his disciples, listen to Jesus, they got instantaneous results. <laughs> they took the net that had been used for fishing in Luke 5, which happened before John 21. And they got instantaneous results. As a matter of fact, in John 21, they didn't even know who Jesus was wow. because he had left them and he returned back. This was after his resurrection. Mm -hmm. oh, Jesus, after his resurrection, once they realized who it was, the disciples got excited. As a matter of fact, Peter hopped out the boat and came on into the land and the other disciples, they got the boat into land. When God is giving you new strategies, new plans, new paradigms, new shifts, and new dominion, it's going to be time for you to strategize so that you can see results. Love Center, you guys got this location for a reason. You guys are conveniently located not only to Alabama State University, but also to a community that is in need of help in need of love that's in need of Jesus being the center of right, their joy right, right, whether right. they know it or not whether they appreciate it or not <laughs> and if you can just do some level of outreach to the people of God in your community <laughs> expect God to bless you guys even in the midst of a pandemic <laughs> you may have been going through some things where you had to change some of your strategy where you had to change some of your plans, where you had to make sure you spent some extra time praying so that you could better understand what God was going to have you guys to do during this season. But believe that God is going to align you guys in such a way that you'll see tangible results, not in a long time, but instantaneously. Dr. Peoples, explain how you guys have changed a couple of things as far as your service strategies. So you may not see this during clergy appreciation month, but I want to encourage any clergy, whenever you do flip this on your local media device, be encouraged. Stay in the battle. Stay in the fight. And let God give you some strategy so that you can be able to do all the things that God needs you to do. 
<laughs> because when God starts to align your strategy, <laughs> when God starts to align your plans, <laughs> then you'll be able to execute the strategy. <laughs> you'll be able to execute the plan. <laughs> you'll see some tangible results <laughs> right on time. <laughs> when God sends you tangible results, <laughs> they won't be the main. They'll be right on time. And when God sends it on time, Expect them to work you some miracles, some signs and some wonders. Right in your face, right in the midst of your family, right in the midst of your situation, right in the midst of your circumstances. They may have talked about your marriage, but you speak life over your marriage. They may have talked about your friend. You encourage your friend. They might have boycotted your business. They might have put their mouth on you. They might have said, you aren't anointed no more, but you gotta trust that God has got you for this time. You gotta trust that God is gonna give you a plan to drop your neck and see some net results. When God blesses you, you, you will see, you shall see, expect results. Praise Him with a praise God. Expect to see some miracle signs of wonders. Let's try to see some miracles, signs, and wonders. Oversee the people. You and your ministry. Whenever you open your mouth, ha la 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 I wish I had a little more time. Whenever you open your mouth, expect to see the tangible results of the work that you're putting in. Because God has called you for this season to see some tangible results. And even if a strategy is not as successful as you want, you review it. You told me how you guys reviewed some things strategy-wise. You were like, all right, we need to tighten this up. And you were seeing tangible results of that, just like you did for that. Mm. Lord God, I pray that you continue to do for this ministry. <laughs> now I'm, I'm going to let Pastor Dr. Peoples get out of here right on time because I think I'm well within your time parameters. Lord God, even right now, we just want to pray for your people. Lord God, we pray that you will just bless your people greatly, Lord God, as only you can do, Lord Jesus. Destroy yokes, Lord God, and set captives free, Lord God. Allow this house to be a house of love, Lord God. Allow this house to be a house of praise. Allow this house to be a house of worship. Allow this house to be a house of deliverance, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Allow your word to manifest in this place, manifest in this community. Stir up the gifts in your people, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, for a unique anointing on this house, Lord God that sets them apart from other ministries, Lord God. Bless them greatly. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And God bless you.
preacher is a preacher. And this man of God, tell the Thomas, you came up here and you brought a great word. A great word, a word from God. And it's time for us to drop our nets, to get out of our seats, and to start doing what God has told us to do. It is time for us to get us set our feelings and differences aside. Because it doesn't matter who likes us and who does not like us. Drop your net. Drop your net. And as you're dropping your net, what I want you to do in this moment is just to think about those things that God has already told you to do. Are you doing those things? The things that God told you to do. Are you doing them? If you need prayer today, to line up with the with, with the, the things that God has told you to do so that you can drop your net and be in the will of God. While you're on Facebook, put in the, in the comments, I need prayer. Send us an inbox that you need prayer so that you will know what to do when you drop your net. You will know how to drop your net. The mandate that is on your life is so much greater, so much greater than what you got going on, than what you're going through. And when you drop your net, it's called ministry. It's called ministry. It's called purpose. It's a drive and a passion that should be deep down inside of you. So some of you, maybe you're not uh, um, needing help in dropping your net or guidance in what you should do when you drop your net, when you go out and minister. Maybe you just need prayer because you're, you feel like you're being hindered. You feel like there's a stronghold against you. Drop it in the comments. Send us an email. Tell us, inbox us. We want to pray with you. We want to pray with you. There's nothing too hard for God, nothing too impossible for him. If he said it, it's going to happen. Every promise that he has made will come to pass. It will come to pass. Maybe you you are uh, uh, just in need of a closer relationship with God. Maybe you don't know him in this hour. And all you have to do is freely give yourself to him in the name of Jesus. Freely, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's willing to take you under his wing. And we all know the scripture, John 3, 16. We know that scripture. All we got to do is call on his name. Pull on him. He wants you in his kingdom. He wants you a part of his life. He is here. He is there. For each and every last one of us. Or maybe you're a backstopper. And you want to come back home. You want to come back to your first love. Accept him today. Accept Christ today. Accept him. He has his arms open wide for you. Wide. There's a song called Wide as the Sky. <laughs> Lord, we lift you high. That's what we have to do. We have to lift up his holy name. Lift up his holy name in this place. He's willing. He's there for you. He's there for you. Come on back in. Maybe you lost a loved one. Somebody may be mourning in this hour. You need prayer in that area. Maybe you need prayer because you need healing. We want to touch and agree with you in the name of Jesus. We want to touch and agree with your healing. We want to touch and agree with your purpose. We want to touch and agree with your salvation. In the name of Jesus, drop it in the comments. Send us a message. Send us an email. Let us know that you want us to pray with you. Go to our website. There's a request link, a request prayer link on our website. God is waiting on you. He's waiting on you. He's pulling. He, he's, in this, he's in here. He's in the social media ways. He's pulling on your heart right now. The Holy Spirit is tugging on you. The Holy Spirit is tugging on you to come out of where you're at, to come into a marvelous life. The Word of God says, take on my yoke. Jesus was saying, take on my yoke. My burden is light. It is very light. Give him what we have. It's too much for us to bear. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for your great and merciful power. We thank you for your redemptive salvation in the name of Jesus. We pray right now that you will save us, Lord God. Forgive all of us of all our sins, our sins of commission and our sins of omission. Those things we knew we did, did wrong and those things we did not know we've done wrong. We speak right now that your blessings will just fall on us. Your healing rain, Lord God, will rain on your people all through the social media waves and all in the house, Lord God. No matter where people are, they're feeling you, Lord God, and your virtue in the name of Jesus. Be with us, Lord God. Be with everyone who needs you, Lord. People need you one way or another. We're coming back to you, our first love. We're surrendering our lives to you, Lord God. We're saying we're here, Lord God. We surrender. We're tired of our ways. We're tired of going the way we were going. So we come to you, Lord God, and call 
under me and glorifying you. The mandate that you have placed over our lives, we willingly accept it. In the name of Jesus, we accept that the progress. We accept the purpose that you have for us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we give you our burden and we take on your yoke, for your yoke is light. We give everything to you, Lord God, that we cannot handle ourselves. And we thank you for your serenity. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your many blessings. In Jesus' name. that you can give and it's on the screen there's many ways that you can give i'm going to be reading a scripture from second corinthians verse 9 6 through 7 and it's the english standard version the point at this whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully verse 7 says each one must give as he has decided in his heart not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Get excited about your giving today. Get excited. Put a, a name on that seed that you wanna, that you're giving, that God has touched your heart to give. Put a name on it. What do you want God to do for you? Is it spiritual growth? Put a name on it. God, thank you for my spiritual growth as you give. God, thank you, Lord God, for my job as you give. God, thank you, Lord God, for my healing as you give. Put a name on what that is, the seed that you want God to do for you. Put a name on it. There are several different ways that you can give. You can give through cash out. That is dollar sign, love center church. Dollar sign, love center church. Another way you can give is through give a fly. And it's love center church, Montgomery. Love center church, Montgomery. And you can also give through PayPal. Love Church One at AOL.com. Love Church One at AOL.com. For those who would like to send a check or a money order and sow your seed directly to us here, no problem. Make that check out to Love Center Church, Love Center Full Gospel Baptist Church. That address is 2401 Plum Street, Montgomery, Alabama, 36107. Again, that address is 2401 Plum Street, Montgomery, Alabama, 36107. And make the check or money order out to Love Center Full Gospel Baptist Church. And if you're on our website, there's a give link, a give link on our website. Just simply click on that link and it'll take you straight to where you need to go. Amen, amen. And remember, be a cheerful, cheerful giver. Amen. Let us go ahead and um, dismiss. We're going to pray over the offering and dismiss at the same time. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for the seed that has been sown through social media and through the website, the seed that is coming through the mail. We thank you for it. We thank you for the seed that was sown here within the church, Lord God. Lord God, we pray that you will bless everyone, Lord God, a hundredfold for what they have given. And those who had the, the desire to give but did not have the heart, did not have it to give, Lord God, bless them anyway, Lord God, so that they can give. Lord God, touch each and every last person that is here as they go on their way home. And those who are watching abroad, touch their hearts and their lives, Lord God. Let the word that had come forth on today not touch on the hit on Stony Brown, but let it take root, Lord God, and, and produce a beautiful fruit in their hearts and in their lives. Be with each and every last person as they go to and from their destination. Watch over us and keep us, Lord. We expect that miracle sign wonders to take place and great testimonies to come from this. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.